Okay, you don't need to be religious to be a public nuisance any more than you need a medical degree to be an alcoholic, but statistically it does help apparently, and who can be surprised? This is going to be a fairly rude video because I thought I'd made my position on scripture fairly clear the last time, but apparently not. There are some people who have decided to evangelize to me because in their opinion I haven't quite grasped the truth and they want to set me straight about that using, guess what, scripture. And because I don't want to hear any of this, I'm close-minded apparently, which is a novelty. Being called close-minded by religious people is a bit like being called yellow by a bunch of bananas. But in this case, I have to admit, there's some truth in the accusation. The fact is, I'm so close-minded that I'm only prepared to engage with reality. I know it sounds unreasonable, but if something isn't real, then I find I've got an inbuilt automatic prejudice. That's right, a prejudice against pretending that it is real. In fact, I'm so close-minded when it comes to believing absurdities that you won't believe this, but I actually require proof. That's right, copper-bottomed proof that would stand up in a court of law. A real court, not a human rights commission. And I think we both know that you and your scripture are not going to furnish that proof if you talk from now until the end of time. So let's not bother and say we did. Because you'd be far better employed reflecting on the fact that your deeply held beliefs are really nothing more than an accident of birth. The parents that you happen to be born to and the stuff they happened to believe in is now doubtless what you believe in. Had you been born elsewhere, you'd believe other stuff, and this stuff you would consider heretical and false. Yet in both cases, yours would be the only true religion. How are you not embarrassed? So no, thank you. I don't want to hear about your beliefs, and I don't give a damn what your scriptures have to say about anything. Sorry to be so close-minded, but I'm going to spell it out for you now as clearly as I can, just to avoid any future misunderstandings. I don't care if you've got a written formula for converting lead into gold. Keep it to yourself. Evangelizing to people who don't want to hear it is such a tasteless thing to do. It's like exposing yourself in public. Whatever happened to good manners? It's not as if we don't even know the pitch. God knows we've heard it thousands and thousands of times. And it doesn't get any more convincing in the telling, but that doesn't seem to register with you, does it? If somebody tried to sell me a car and I decided it wasn't for me, I wouldn't expect that person to return the following day and try to sell it to me again, especially if it was an invisible car. If they did, they would be dismissed in very short order and they would not be given any respect. Because, you see, I'm not in the market for a car. Any car. I've decided to walk. That's going to take me where I'm going because I'm going where it takes me. And I'll be happy to get there. In fact, I already am. So, I don't need to hear about anybody's God or Savior or Prophet or Scripture or any sort of supernatural deity hocus pocus whatsoever or even any fancy variation on that theme, half man, half God kind of arrangements. I'm not interested. I've heard it all before and I think it's all lies, insulting, degrading nonsense that contaminates everything it touches. In fact, whenever I'm exposed to religion, I feel dirty. I feel contaminated by the vileness of the mealy-mouthed platitudes that pass for wisdom, the naked money-grubbing, the controlling rhetoric devoid of any humanity or compassion. Are you kidding me? The supercilious hectoring tone, the constant intrusive demands for privilege and the absolutely unforgivable violation of the minds of young children. And I think those people who make a profession of religion are the scum of the earth. And I think that if Jesus turned up tomorrow, he would agree with me. So, let's hope he does. Peace.